right, so I've had some people ask me about my setup here and uh, what my smoker looks like, how I built it, all of that. So we're gonna go over that today. Just sitting here in my backyard getting ready to smoke a brisket. So uh, this is my firebox. I use only cherry wood. Uh, I like the flavor uh, more of cherry wood than anything else. The way I get my fire started is with this torch that I picked up on Amazon. So let me tell you how I did this. I took a 250 gallon propane tank and uh, I'll put up some pictures of what it looked like before and kind of while I was building it as well. I cut the two holes for the doors and I actually made the hinges here. So these hinges up here, I just uh, bent some metal and put them through a little pipe, welded the pipe on. Don't mind the terrible welding job. It's the first time I, since high school I had ever welded and I wasn't very good in high school either. But, uh, and then I put some, filled, filled that full of sand, closed it up on each end, put it on a pipe. That acts as a counterweight and a stop. And I'll take you around to show you that so that it doesn't go all the way back. It stops uh, right there. And so that keeps it from warping when I open it. It makes it easier to open. Uh, then I built these racks here which are removable for cleaning and stuff. Um, I also, let me pull this out here. Uh, I put a steel plate underneath there so the, the smoke goes. I don't know if you can see it, but there's that little hole right there. So the fire, go, fire there smoke travels all the way underneath that steel plate comes up right here and then flows over the food and then through the the hole there up through the uh, smokestack and that's called reverse flow so i made myself a reverse flow smoker let me get this back in real quick so what we're going to do is we're going to close this up i put on these handles here or yeah these handles here so I welded that on put a piece of wood in between two dowels there and uh, works pretty good and then you got this little clip right here and that locks it shut so we're gonna lower these let the cabin heat up here for a little bit and uh, when it's up to temp we'll get that brisket on and for the firebox what I did is I just cut up some steel, welded a box, uh, cut out the door there, and then just put some uh, flat iron or straight iron, whatever you call it, around as, as uh, for a door frame, basically. And then for these hinges, I just got some weldable hinges um, and welded those on. I should have done that up there as well um but i i did this after i did those so uh and then also i just cut out cut out the little hole up there for the uh for the smoke to go through and uh took me took me about a month working on it i worked on it every night after i got home from work so it took me about a month to to complete um just borrowed i did it super cheap i just borrowed some equipment from uh my brother he had a welder he had a, i didn't use like a plasma cutter or anything i just used a um angle grinder on it so it was a lot of hard work could have done a lot faster and a lot better but uh i did it cheap um the 250 gallon tank cost me 200 dollars um the wheels and everything that's all scrap metal um but this this iron here uh cost me iron was really high i don't know if it's uh still the case but uh sheet metal was really high when i built this and so i think that cost me that was the biggest part like 700 bucks 
and eh, not quite 700 like five something so the whole thing came out to about seven or eight hundred dollars which is pretty awesome for what it is um if i built it better and i i was actually a good welder it'd definitely be a twelve thirteen hundred dollar smoker uh easy just with the size and everything uh, eventually what i want to do is i want to put a second rack right here um so that i can double the amount of meat i do i uh i just uh cook for friends you know they pay me for the meat and a little extra and and i smoke it for them and uh we do that for holidays football games stuff like that so anyway so that's that's the story of my smoker i'll show you the pictures of of me building it I have a couple of videos in in there as well it's a pretty cool process but uh, I had some people asking me about it and, and wanted to show y'all.